I'll be offering on testosteronology.com a monthly newsletter. I want everyone here to subscribe to it. Go to testosteronology.com and subscribe to the newsletter. I look forward to bringing you information digitally in writing every month from me, how to protect your heart. Gentlemen, men on steroids, testosterone, how to protect yourself from the ravages of any disease, including cancer, primary care screening. This is what I do, and I wanna have another medium to communicate with you. So please subscribe at testosteronology.com. In addition, I am working with Zachary McDonald. He is a doctoral student at the University of Connecticut Department of Kinesiology. And he's going to be our tie to the academic world of exercise science, if you will. Zach, tell us the things you're working on right now. So uh, right now in the lab, I'm looking at the black chokeberry and its antioxidant effects and its potential to kind of uh, help out athletes in a sense with their stress resilience. Say, for example, you know, we have a lot of athletes down in Florida, you know, with the heat, heat stress and heat stroke, you know, so getting awesome. things like that can improve performance, things that maybe people just haven't really looked at before. Excellent. So also, you're going to see Zach is going to tie us to the world academically of SARMs, other PEDs, all PEDs, cutting edge, bleeding edge, and also information about androgenic steroids. So please subscribe to this new medium at testosteronology.com. And I look forward to keeping all you men strong and healthy. Thank you so much. This video is a response video to More Plates, More Dates YouTuber who did a response video of a man called The Bro Scientist. And the title of that video was, Can SARMs Permanently Shut You Down? TRT a 24 year old man. So this is a very important video <clears throat> for the world and I dedicate this to all the men in the world that watch me and are looking for education on anabolic androgenic steroids, including SARMs. And this is also posed to Derek, who's the YouTuber, More Plates, More Dates, because I have some questions for him. So apparently this 24 year old man pleads to the world and he tells his story that he did three cycles of Legandrol, LGD 4033, which is a powerful SARM, we know that. And he also did some test boosters and apparently he did these three cycles and he explains the details over time and he now is on TRT, he says, for life. So I don't know this young man, but I watched his video uh, through the response of More Plates, More Dates and you could see that video. And <clears throat> it's, it's clear and it's sad that this man points out that of course he's on TRT and he's feeling better. He also points out that he has had depression and he's had issues with uh, alcohol abuse. And it's, it's kind of all just you know in there together when his, when his story also talks about the SARMs use of course and test boosters as well. And in the end, this young man closes with that he's one of the bodies that SARMs has left behind. This is very concerning for me as I see the response of this in reality in my clinic every day. So first off, how does Derek deal with this? Derek is an incredibly bright guy. He has a big YouTube channel and it's amazing that guys have said to me, Doc, you know, we watch Greg Set, we watch More Plates, More Dates, and we watch you. So I'm very humbled to be in this genre, if you will, genre. And Derek points out a few interesting pieces we're gonna discuss and I will just present them. So Derek talks about the details as Derek's reviewing this man's video directly, that there is issues with time to recover from these agents, 
apparently the Psalms, and that there is some relevance <clears throat> with half-lives of the agent. That's interesting to me. He talks about that there was inadequate labs done for this man, which is interesting. Apparently, Derek is uh, an expert at reading labs, although he's not a doctor, but certainly superficially appears to be reading some labs because I checked Derek out. And um, so this man had no baseline testosterone levels done. And there's questions that the man may actually have uh, issues with baseline low T, 24. That's quite uncommon. And of course, he does bring up, which it's a very good point, uh, the depression, his depression, potentially a baseline. And of course, the alcohol abuse and, and use. And again, his pre-existing low testosterone states. And the last point that Derek makes, uh, in my summary, to me, is that this man had no plan. You know, there was no plan. And, and we all agree that so there's no plan. <clears throat> Does he understand he's using SARMs? And of course, you can be shut down. Derek agrees with that. He mentions that. And steroids can shut you down. And then with all the parameters and logistics of how much, what time, who knows. And, but Derek does say that uh, he had no PCT on hand. You know, I, I heard that specifically from Derek. So here's my response. This is my response to all the men in the world and to you, Derek. Um, first off, Derek, you're not a physician. Clearly, you're a very smart man. Um, <clears throat> you've grown educated on the internet about reading labs. You know how to read on a very superficial level, a CBC and some metabolic parameters and certainly talk about lipid parameters and all these different things. And um, <clears throat> you're not a physician. You don't have years of clinical experience for whatever that's worth. And I'll have some questions in the end for you guys. And maybe that's okay. Maybe that's where the world's headed. <clears throat> Derek, I don't think you understand anabolic steroid induced hypogonadism truly and the data that we do have and it's, it's 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 limited data but there is data on that and i'm involved with some research on that as people know and there's no data whatsoever in a longitudinal status that can prevent utilizing any type of agent i don't care if it's selective estrogen receptor modulators like clomid lester tamoxifen anti-estrogens or human corneatic gonadotropin that you could utilize any protocol at any time during or after a cycle that will prevent the potential deterioration and permanent low testosterone and suffering withdrawal based on what we see and men that are on SARMs or steroids. That's for sure. Indeed, post-cycle therapy medicines can be used medically in an ethical focus, in an ethical manner for men that are coming off steroids that need support. I do it all the time and there is data on that. And I've been working on this for at least 10 years for men, man per man, using these medicines. There is evolving data to support and prove that in addition to anabolic steroids, SARMs are quite suppressive on the man's potential, the central nervous system, and for that man to come back, regardless of the SARMs, regardless of the man, regardless of what he's done to protect himself and will suffer withdrawal and have hypogonadism in the future. It certainly depends on a lot of variables. And Derek talks about that. The amount of time on, the amount of agent, how long, what's the amount on the drug, does he come off the drug, post-cycle therapy, is there any true recovery possible by being on SARMs or steroids at all? We just don't know. Everyone has asked me this for many, many years, and we just don't know. My same recommendation goes out. Don't start one SARM or one tablet of Anovar if you're not understanding and sure that you may have to be on testosterone for life. It's the same respect we give for all men. Now, there's also mental health issues, substance abuse issues going on. Derek, what degree of education and clinical experience do you have with substance abuse or mental health? I would just like to ask that question. Derek points out that you have to have a plan. That's a good thing. You have to have a plan on steroids and SARMs and that it's potentially going to be possible that you're going to end up on TRT for life. 
At this point of my presentation, I'm asking for comments. Please respond. What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think specifically about this? SARMs leading to shutdown. Check out this guy's video. Check out Derek's video. And what do we think? Let's, let's get a, a huge conversation going on this. Your experiences, please, clinically, it's incredible. We need to see it. Young men need to see what you're going to say about this and your experience. That is more important than my words, Derek's words, or anyone's words. Your experience, the guys see collective experience right here. And next, and in conclusion, what do you guys think about guys like Derek that are very smart, that are clearly acting like physicians and giving medical advice, although... There's a lot of disclaimers that it's not medical advice, but when you're reviewing someone's labs, when you're, you're very smart and you're appearing as if there is a way to get around it. There is, I did my research doc, I did my PCT, I've gotta be a right way, I've looked at my labs, there's gotta be a way to do it. Time on, time off. What do you guys think about that? That the world is clearly moving away from traditional medical physicians that are obviously very busy with day jobs in clinics and working with people that have real medical issues. I see men that are coming into my clinic off SARMs and steroids for a year, two years, and they're permanently damaged to some degree. And this is just the truth. And a lot of these men tell me over and over that they wish they could have gone back in time to not do the steroid or the SARM, and that it was a bad idea, it was a bad move, and now they are on TRT for life. And in the end, I don't wanna be a Debbie Downer, and I don't wanna blow anyone in, but what's gonna happen with this? So many guys tell me that they go to guys like Derek, and they pay a lot of money to get their labs evaluated, and then, of course, they're told what drugs to take. Clomid, PCT, HCG, and of course, let's be honest, straight up steroids. There's some relationship and there's some ability how it's directly or indirectly related to work with other companies online and everyone's covering their ass to do this. Let's be honest about it. That's what's really going on and it's more and more and more. And I think it's cloaked with uh, very smart guys that are not physicians that are giving, really giving medical advice. What do you guys think about that? Thank you so much. I really hope this information helps one man, not hundreds and thousands or millions of men, not to do steroids or SARMs because you're just gonna end up on TRT like this young man has told the world he is. Thank you so much.